All right, guys. Solo Training Coach Sense coming into you with another review. Tonight, we're going to be reviewing Carlina Herrera's Bad Boy. Feels so good to be bad. I think that's her own slogan for this. I've always wanted this bottle in my collection. Every time I went to Ulta, try it out. I hated it. But circumstances, they gave me a Dillard's card, and I had to use it. So I went with this guy right here. Um... I would never pay retail, but like I guess given, given the circumstances, I went to Dillard's and got myself this. Now, I smelled this before, right? And um, I always said it smelled like Rosasi Hawaz, but with chocolate, but that's not the scent I was thinking about. So, let's get into this. Carolina Herrera's Bad Boy. The notes are black pepper, white pepper, bergamot, sage, cedar, amberwood, tonka, and cacao. Now, the first thing when I would spray this, look at that sprayer. It's a nice sprayer, by the way. The first thing that I that I get is that chocolate. It's got like chocolate, dark temptation, axe kind of uh, smell to it. You can smell the tonka, you can smell that cacao, a nice and bitter cacao in it, man. Very lovely, very lovely. Real fresh, real sweet, almost gourmandish. Now, if I were to compare this scent to another scent, it would be Versace Arrows because of the tonka. The tonka mixing with that ambroxan amberwood type deal, it makes me think of um, Versace's arrows. But think about Versace arrows with a chocolate note in it. A very, very sweet gourmandish scent. I think this would be perfect for the upcoming winter. Bad Boy is kind of a weird name for this because to me, this is more like a cuddling kind of scent with a date cuddling type of scent. I can see this being one of the clubs, don't get me wrong, because it has that Arrows kind of vibe. But um, where Arrows is real loud and juvenile, this one's a little more reserved and tame, but still sweet, sweet, sweet. Now, now again, at first, you they're supposed to be bass notes, right? But right off the bat, you're going to get that chocolate, you're going to get that taco, mixing around together. Now, as soon as it starts dying down, this one lasted on me from 4 and from 3.30 till, till at night, it became a skin scent rather quickly, but I could still smell it. I'll catch whiffs every now and then of the, of the bad boy. And uh, what I really like about this one is that um, the dry down, the dry down, the, the, ca the cacao and the tonka, the cacao takes a back seat. The tonka starts to shine, right? And that amber wood just comes out Reminds me of that Amberwood in the YSLY EDP. I don't, it sucks because I, 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 I sprayed myself, so I can't really think about the, the dry down right now. But the dry down was super alluring. A bit generic, yes. But I mean, for what it is, it's a, it's a total winter date cuddling type of scent with that beautiful chocolate in it, man. Now, I wasn't the biggest fan of this when I first smelled it again. I wasn't true drawn, but you know what? I'm falling in love with it every time I spray and I wore it today. And this is not something I would wear to work. I would wear this to, um, on a winter, nice and ugly season, going out with your special somebody and she, she's gonna wanna snuggle with you with that chocolate accordion. So, um, there you go. Now I'm, I'm, I'm getting that amber wood now that chocolate man it kind of reminds you of black phantom imagine black phantom arrows and like why so why edp the base of the amber would kind of mix mix all those three together and you got ch bad boy man you know get some samples try this one out hopefully uh you guys like this one like i said this one grew on me i wasn't the biggest fan and yeah it is a little generic it's a little boring but for what it is, man, it's just a cool thing to have in your collection, man. Honestly, man. So, uh, this is Slow Tranquil Sense coming to you with a nice, quick review. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Give me a like, give me a comment, and uh, party people. I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you very much.